Good evening, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Lisa Slay House. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. If you'd like to book a reading with me, you can do so at my website, lissaslayhouse.com, or contact me on my Instagram page, lissaslayhouse79. This is going to be a collective reading, just cause. KK, K. What y'all gotta say today? Look at the word. BX uh, came out. <laughs> Shout out to the BX. Shout out to Yonkers. OA. OC, Orange County. <laughs> Queens. And I'm getting Queens, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Queens, New York, and, you know, Queens. Empresses, goddesses. I'm hearing justice of the peace. Maybe that resonates with somebody. Take what resonates and leave what does not. Look at the R. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Look up Rhino Spirit. I'm hearing little Uzi Vert. All right. What y'all got to say? <laughs> it says, what was that, um, that, uh, um, uh, Gilligan's Island, um, SS Minnow. That's what they're showing me. And then soda, soda pop. Anytime I hear soda pop, I think of, um, I think of, um, like old school, you know, uh, what, what's the word I'm thinking about? The, the fifties, um, sock hops, soda pops and sock hops is what I'm hearing. Diver, diving, diners, Divins and drives or something like that. The H, what is that? One of those shows. B E G comes out. Who's begging? And then B U M comes out. Oh, okay, that's who's begging. <laughs> I just heard a bum bitch, bum bitch. You a bum bitch, bum bitch, chicken bitch. You a chicken bitch. <laughs> wow. This is the roll call. Roll call. What's up, y'all? What you gotta say? Who's on the phone with Ed Lisa and Dre? Wow. All right, shout out to Hop97. JV, somebody's paying, playing JV. Maybe it's a dad. Uh, JV or Varsity, maybe you're I hear What up, coach? Yeah, so somebody's dad is a JV or Varsity coach. I always told one of my friends that they should be a coach. They're very good at sports. That uh, friend of mine, a really good friend, and old soul, is, um, they told me they watch my channel from time to time. So, you know, shout out to them and their family. Um, they're always good at natural, natural teachers. Some natural teachers are meant to be coaches and, and he's a great dad. All right. The letters DT are significant at this time. What you guys got to say? I hear everybody's going back to school. Some people, some people already went back to school. Sorry, please excuse my boxes. We're transitioning right now. <laughs> Communication is key. New moon and Gemini. Some people, and they're showing me the, <clears throat> excuse me, they're showing me the eight of wands and the tarot deck. Somebody is um, communicating. And uh, for others, some people need to be communicating and their throat chakra is not aligned. This is why they just show me the edge of the card. Somebody's on edge. This is what they show me. <clears throat> excuse me and me clearing my throat chakra was just confirmation communication is key somebody needs to be communicating something but they're not and maybe it's a gemini new moon in gemini what up twin yep so guess what nothing is going to come of this situation if you do not communicate A day late and a dollar short is what I just heard. Uh oh, uh -oh. that's the end of this um, conversation is what I also just heard. Nothing will come of this situation. So for some people, because you refuse to speak up for whatever reason, um, nothing will come of the situation. And for others, even if you speak up, nothing will come of it, of it because it's over. Any other messages? Probably not, because when they when the cards repeat, yeah, this is why. 
Release your ex, the romance angels are telling me. Um, Tie-dye is in my blood. Tie-dye is a good idea. Tie-dye is popping right now. Nothing is... Wow. Nothing is yet set in stone. And I know that resonates for me. St shout out to Stone Mountain. They'll be coming around the mountain when they come. That's what I heard. <laughs> but when are they going to come? Your dreams need a pra practical plan. Being practical is communicating. Practice makes perfect. Emotions are running high. Yes, they are. Hot under the collar. Hot and sweaty. Believe in the impossible. We're, pl pu we're pulling a Lazarus is what I'm hearing. Believe. <laughs> and then they're playing Journey. Journey, don't stop believing for me. Do not let your past hold you back. Every what 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 is that saying? Every um every saint has a past, and every no excuse me every every sinner has a past, and every, no, every saint has a past, and every sinner has a future. Yeah, this remind me of um stethoscope. So you know, we've been watching Chicago Med, my younger daughter and I. She gets me into some of the episodes. So yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> and look at this, step out of your comfort zone. I don't know exactly what these um symbols mean, but I'm sure they have something to do with moon, moon you know, these moonology cards, moon magic. I'm hearing um on the next new moon, <clears throat> excuse me, charge, charge your crystals, char charge your water by the moon, by the moonlight. Any other messages, guys? Any other messages? Um, my daughters gave me a beautiful moon magic book for my mo for Mother's Day. M and M's are significant at this time. Step out of your comfort zone. That's the only place that you can live outside of your comfort zone. That's how you live life. You know, you can't live life any other way. Let me see if we turn the camera on a little bit. Let's go to yes, shed some more light. The end of a tough cycle approaches. I know for me, my ancestors tell me that um, my ancestral karma. Debt is paid, man. Ancestral trauma is transmuting. My karmic debts are paid. So this is what it is. We've been going through shit because we've had karma to pay. People that you... I'm being moved to tell you. People that are family. People that you come onto the earth plane with as family. And I say family in, in air quotes because those are people that you have to clear karma with. <clears throat> That's why you guys reincarnate as family because if you didn't, then you guys would be too far geographically or, or otherwise to clear that karma. All right, what else y'all got to say? The abundance, oh, excuse me, the abundance, uh, they're telling me abundance, so guess what? This is what, these are the unicorns. Flow, <laughs> they show me um, hustle and they're telling me hustle and flow. That's what we've been doing, hustling and flowing. Find an, find an easier path forward. Surrender the outcome. Release your expectations. Let go of control issues. I suppose this is what the, um, the romance angels, you know, allow the universe. Ebb and flow, hills and valleys, ups and downs. When you flow with the universe, when you allow the universe to bring you, for some people, they said somebody is being, the universe feels... For some people, some people feel like the universe is bringing them to their knees. And I understand that to be correct because <laughs> that's where you belong. On your knees. Whoo! On your knees, butt naked, please. Uh, hey, I'm just a messenger. Please don't shoot me. Freedom. Live wild and free. <laughs> I laugh. This bitch is wild and free. Mm-hmm. This bitch is fast and free, yep. Freedom, live wild and free, choose your freedom, claim, claim your independence. Well, I definitely have a wild child tattoo because I am definitely wild child, a wild child, a wild side, wild child, <laughs> wildlife conservation society. <laughs> you hear that? Ding! Magic, we're manifesting miracles and magic. Make a wish, believe in miracles, magic surrounds you. Magic surrounds you. They're asking me to read this, this card. Where, where's the unicorn? Okay, hold on, guys. Magic. Make a wish. And then I'm hearing, um, I guess, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, St. Jude's Hospital. 
um, not Jerry Springer. What was his name? Jerry Lewis. They're showing me those um telephones. Receive. Signs, symbols, synchronicity, serendipity, and surprises is what I'm hearing. All right, let's let's see. Magic. Let's see what magic. What the um unicorn from magic has to say. Make a wish, believe in miracles, magic surrounds you. The unicorns and fairies. Have come together to remind you of your connection with magical beings. They invite you to ask for their combined support. A situation in your life may need an extra dash of fairy dust and a beam of unicorn light to help it resolve quickly and easily. Maybe you have become lost in the outer world of logic and need to remember the power of magic and miracles that comes from within. Or maybe this or may or this may be a joyful invitation to make a wish and know that you are surrounded by magic at this time. Call on the fairies and unicorns to remind you, to guide you, and to help bring about an even higher income. Ask them to show you unmistakable signs that they are with you and spend time out in nature speaking with them. Call on them as a team, knowing that the lightness and fun of the fairies is the perfect complement to the loving energy of the unicorns. They whisper in your ear, make a wish and believe it is already so. Believe in us. Believe in magic now and always. All right. Give me one second, guys. Pippa, where are you at? Are you in the box? You're in the box. Kipper said, you looking right at me. <laughs> All right, guys. What's everybody? Everybody. Right. Child comes out. And the first the first card that comes out for child for me, the first um, energy that I get is it's back to school shopping, back to school uh, supplies, um, you know, open houses, registrations, withdrawals, all that stuff. For kids kids are us somebody used to work at kids are us they're showing me jeffrey yep this is a confirmation unexpected income what do you guys say dairy queen what they're showing me taco bell taquito taco bell <laughs> those shits used to have me fucking um dying laughing those um taco bell commercials back in the the the, the the um the 90s dude you're getting a dell okay well whoever's getting a dell be careful with your computer because somebody's about to steal it either your computer steal information i'm here yeah they're selling me files zip drive zip files so um and then they're saying zip lining so if even if you're on vacation just protect your stuff they said two two um <laughs> two-step, two-step dancing, <laughs> two-step verification for security purposes. Scratch a liar, find a thief. Mm -hmm. Scratch a liar, find a thief. They never thought, <clears throat> they said, who would have thunk it? You didn't think he was going to get caught, but here we are. Now you're concerned about it. You're only concerned because you're going to get caught, is what I heard. You wasn't concerned before you wasn't concerned when you thought you were getting over <laughs> distant horizons Ooh, i'm hearing alcatraz the rock solid as a rock yeah that's a confirmation is that i don't know <clears throat> is um i don't even know is is that even operating anymore alcatraz probably not i don't even know i'm just a messenger Right. I hear a nun's voice. Can I ask for a lifeline, please? <laughs> exactly. I have no idea, but um, somebody's going far, far away. And the anchor, maybe it's overseas. Yeah. They're showing me escape plan. Anybody ever seen that movie? Watch it. And maybe somebody's official. I don't know. Or maybe it's somebody that, it's somebody that you're official with. That's a confirmation. Somebody's going far away. And I don't get that it's a good, you know, it's not for vacation. And then I'm hearing deportation. <laughs> Dep the what? Let's deport boy. Yeah, I forgot what movie that was from. And that is the message of concern. Somebody's getting deported. 
<laughs> yeah. Again, you thought that you were getting over and that's why it was fun for you. Now it's not so fun when um, the shoe's on the other foot is what I'm hearing. What you think about that? Mature woman comes out. So I don't know. You've been doing it for six years and six days. You have to go away on the sixth of the next month. You plan on turning yourself in six is significant at this time. Wow. Super six is what I heard. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody's going into poverty and or poverty consciousness. And guess what? Family room. So somebody in the family or, you know, somebody you thought was family. Somebody you treated like family. What numbers are you guys showing me? 22. Anything else, guys? I don't think Kipper has much to say. There's going to be change. So for some people, it's going to be good change. Some people, it's going to be bad change. And then I'm hearing laundry, like a laundry mat. So... I don't know, either somebody's washing money, cleaning money, laundering money, and or laundering clothes. A message of concern about this this doesn't this message of concern doesn't give me any particular uh energy right now. It's just people who are concerned. I hear a lot of people are concerned about me. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. How about we dead that? Coffin comes, coffin car comes out next. Dead come being concerned about me. I'm perfectly motherfucking fine. Are you? Can you say the same thing? <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers is funny, man. <laughs> ah, motherfuckers make me laugh. Hmm. You need to concern yourself with yourself. How about that? 30. And then and, and adjudication comes out, judgment, both um, physical and spiritual judgment, physical and spiritual jail. And in 30 days, maybe you're going to, who they said an island. So somebody is getting deported. Maybe in 30 days, maybe you have 30 days to get your affairs in order. Hmm. Coffin comes, comes up out again. So that's one and nine and it's 10. So you have 10 to 30 days. Wow. I also hear 20, they're playing Mace for me, um, Mace and Puffy, 24 hours to live. So I don't know, man. The coffin card comes out with 24 hours to live and then it's a 19. So you have from 10 to 19 to 24 hours to live for some people. Take it as it resonates. Mm -hmm. That's a confirmation journey card comes upside down. You're not going the motherfucking way. You're not going nowhere is what I just heard. Mm -hmm. Okay. All who cannot hear must feel. All who cannot hear must feel. Only fools know everything. That's an African proverb. Only fools know everything. Nobody couldn't tell you nothing. You thought you were so fucking smart. Hmm? Okay. They said those who fake, they break when they meet their 400 pound mate. <laughs> okay. Okay then. You tell that 400 pound mate. <laughs> what is up? Mm-mm. Mm mm. mm, mm, mm. Y'all refuse to fucking listen to the messenger. I'm just a messenger. These are not my messages. Okay. Just so we clear. Dirt. First card comes up. Dirt. Don't you feel like dirt? What would you do if your son was at home crying on the floor? That's what I heard. City high. So mm-mm. Now you digging up holes, pushing up daisies is what I just heard. Okay. One bad apple spoils the bunch. And guess what? What's, guess what? At, what's the, on the flip side of the apple is the tree. The apple doesn't fall far from it. Well, this apple started a whole new motherfucking tree. You see me? That is what I came here to do. I am a cycle breaker. Shout out to all the other cycle breakers watching. And maybe you don't know you're a cycle breaker, but my bloodline and any other bloodline that was, the, whoever's a cycle breaker, their bloodline could not continue with the toxicity in it. It could not sustain. So it had to be cut off and the new bloodline be, uh, what's the word? Not introduce. Um, 
I guess introduce for lack of a better word, but that's not the word that I'm looking for. Maybe it'll come later. Um, I said, do not come for me unless we send for you. Look at this bar. So you have a fucking potty mouth. You have a mouth of a sailor. I was trying to say sailor, but maybe salian, stallion, the Italian stallion. Hmm. Rocky. You feeling froggy, bitch? Jump is what I just heard. We gonna take this soap and wash your fucking potty mouth out. Oh damn. Raincoat. I don't know what significance this has. It doesn't give me any particular messages, but it's a yellow coat, so I don't know. Yellow jacket, hornet, Charlotte hornet, pillow, pillow talk. I love that song. Um, Zane, pillow talk. Pillow talking for the potty mouth, I heard. Damn. Mm-hmm. p p p p p on I bet you p p p p piss now, ain't you? Ha! <laughs> Damn. Okay. Here comes the pillow again. That means you slept on what the fuck I was trying to tell you. Oh, okay. Hmm. You thought you were so smart, huh? You thought you were combing shit out. Here's a comb. And then I'm I'm hearing um they they show me uh what was what is what's that um that brand um and they're also showing me my shirt so maybe people are creating their uh um a brand a brand of combs for maybe curly hair or a brand of picks for hair that's you know for people of melanated skin boom some people are cleaning up I'm hearing room and board. And then they're showing me to flip over the card. Room, like board, uh, floorboards. They're showing me color purple. Maybe somebody needs to check their floorboards because they're showing me the color purple, how they had some shit hidden. Two, 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 one, two. They had some shit hidden in the floorboards. And maybe it's beside the broom or close to where the broom is. Somebody needs to check their floorboards close to where their brooms are. <clears throat> that's a that's a confirmation close to root and look at this look what comes up upside down yeah so it's close to where the broom and the dustpan is check the floorboard and then they said oh look look at this that is confirmation check the floorboard somebody needs to check their floorboards and then i'm hearing it's in their grandmother's house um check the floorboards for squeaky floorboards by the broom and the dustpan. Years ago, I'm being moved to tell you guys this now. Years ago, my brother, who is no longer on this planet, he speaks to me telepathically. He told me there was treasure that he put, that he buried for me and my children. And we were led to dig up. So we were digging, you know, literally digging, digging, digging. I don't know, about three, four, what? About three years ago now? Maybe four years ago now? Physically digging, digging, and digging. My brother made this bench. When we moved into from one place to another, we saw this bench appear. So we're like, well, okay, where the hell did this bench come from? And my brother told me that he made it, the bench. My brother told me that the bench was made for my mother, not his mother. We said, We shared the same. The bench was made for my mother with his initials on it. The bench was made for as a thank you to my mother for helping him well that was the story that i was told back then i was told a lot of stories back then and i believed them but uh i've come to find out a lot of those stories were fucking lies so now i have to ask this and i have to ask this those stories the people that person that used to tell me those lies <laughs> it's a fucking wreck okay it's a nail and you know where the nail goes, right? And I'll leave it at that. All right. Anybody else? Okay, hold on. Oh, this. Hold on a minute, guys. I got to drink something. I want to give a special shout out at this time to both of my angel babies. One of them graduated from high school. She started her own business. Things are going. 
things are going well for her. She has two businesses, as a matter of fact. One, um, she kind of gave a break to implement. That's the word. To implement the new bloodline. She gave one business a break to implement the second business. My second angel baby is going into 10th grade. Yo, we turned the fuck up in 10th grade, man. We had a freaking bust. Um, and both of my babies, I'm very proud of. They have a lot of things going for them. People want to hate on us because I got shit popping for me and my children. But who the hell else is going to do that for me? Who? Who else is going to handle my business for me? <sighs> Mm -mm -mm. Somebody hates you. I hate you. I hate you so much right now. I hate you so much right now. Ah, they're playing me. Khalees, wow. Okay. Uh, well, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. They said Reese's. Go eat a fucking Reese's. <laughs> Take a vacation. We're going on vacation. Shout out to anybody else going on vacation too. Problem solving. Um, I, for this problem, for this particular problem solving, I get that um, some people are problem solving and some people are helping their children with like flashcards and this addition and subtraction. School, excuse me, schoolwork. Moving out of town or state. I know that's right. I'm going OT. I hear. Who's going OT? You should be very, very proud of yourself. I am very proud of myself. I am very proud of myself. I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of my angel babies. If I weren't if it weren't for them, I didn't know I don't know where I'd be. They keep me grounded, my purpose, my light. They problem solving shit. I'm just the messenger. They're my life coaches. to my children I get very very I'm, I'm I'm real funny about them my pygmy I'm real funny about my babies creator they are creator gods we are creators co-creating with the universe my babies came in, onto this planet knowing what they had to do and they got to it I got the job I got the job done oh yes great mom comes up I'm a great mom because I knew that I wasn't the best mother I knew something was wrong. And I took time out to heal myself because something was wrong. I wanted more for me. I wanted more for my babies. I wasn't a great mom before. Now I'm a great mom. <laughs> Look what car comes up next. Need to break. Yes, because we need a vacation. That's right. Plotting comes up. You can plot on me all you want to. My ancestors is plotting on you. <laughs> I am your mother God. I am your father God. <laughs> Guess what? God said, I said what the fuck I said. Okay? You're a bad influence or somebody around you. Lust comes up. Somebody around you is a bad influence and they love. And, excuse me. You heard that? Lust comes up and, they, and love comes out of their mouth. So that's what it is. It's only lust, but the word love comes out of their mouth. They said that word passes that person, that particular person's mouth way too easy, way too frequently. That shit ain't love. It's lust. And now you want to hate me. Oh, well. Hate me. Hate me because you ain't me. We're going global. And some people are going green. Look, look, look. Licking and sucking comes up. It's green. Green light tango. Go. <laughs> We are fearless. We are fearless. And people's mad at that. Oh, well, take that shit up with the creator. You saw that card came up. The most high. <laughs> smoke, so, smoke so much weed, said them call me the most high. <laughs> That's what I heard. Shout out to Vibes. <laughs> Look at this. Shout out to Vibes Cartel. Look what comes up. Musician. I know. That's right. I know. That's right. Poor hygiene comes out. Shit's so obvious. It is too hot to be... Listen, you better wash your ass more than once a day. It's too hot. We have a global fucking... Glo excuse me. Uh, um, uh, uh, a national... I don't know. Glo shit, it might be global at this point. We have a national heat wave going on right now, okay? Across the... Uh, across the... Uh, 
Uh, look at this. What? Who has broke? Who? Broke bitch. Poor hygiene comes out. That's that's who has poor hygiene. A broke bitch, and maybe the broke bitch is a museum. I heard somebody. Ooh. Mm mm mm. -mm. Anything else, guys? Anything else? Any other messages? Trauma bonding. Yeah, it's not love. Shit, it's not love. It's not love. It's not love. It's not loss. It's trauma bonding. And you should be concerned. Some people don't have healthy boundaries. It's trauma bonding. It's not closeness. You think it's closeness because you don't understand. You think it's emotional commitment. It's emotional incest is what I'm hearing. Look these terms up. These are narcissistic terms. Time is up. All right. That's the end of the video. I'm hearing musical cheers and, um, what's the word? Um, leap, not leapfrog, musical cheers and, um, pin the tail on the donkey. So somebody is, um, having a birthday party for their child. This shit so obvious comes up again. So that's a confirmation. All right, you guys, be good. Hope this message helps somebody. If you'd like to book a reading with me, you can do so at my website, lissislighthouse.com, or contact me on my Instagram page at lissislighthouse79. You guys be well.